The Huawei P40 Pro launch has been confirmed by their CEO and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So leaks are beginning to come in for the Huawei P40 Pro and we've had news of great specs, a graphene battery and a few confirmations from the CEO including the launch date. Richard Yu stated in an interview in Shenzhen that the Huawei P40 Pro is going to be launched at the end of March at an event in Paris. He advised that the Huawei P40 Pro is going to benefit from a new never seen design alongside improved photography capabilities and better performance. Of course this was always expected considering it is their latest flagship. Richard also confirmed that the Huawei P40 Pro is going to be running Android 10 based on EMUI which is of course their own custom firmware. The Mate 30 was released in limited markets but the CEO has confirmed that the P40 Pro will be a global launch through all of their usual distributed channels, operators and resellers. New leaks have revealed that the Huawei P40 Pro is going to be coming with a 6.5 inch waterfall display. It will of course be an OLED display with a Quad HD Plus resolution and a 120Hz refresh rate. It's reportedly going to have a screen to body ratio of roughly 98% and we're expecting a pill shaped punch hole camera for the selfies. This is reportedly going to include an ultra wide lens along with the primary shooter. When it comes to the rear cameras we're expecting a Penta camera setup on the Huawei P40 Pro and it will of course be Leica. Although reports are suggesting that the primary camera may actually be different and use a 64 megapixel Sony IMX686 and this has optical image stabilization and RYYB color arrangements. We're also expecting a 20 megapixel ultra wide lens, a 12 megapixel periscope lens, a macro lens along with a 3D time of flight depth sensor. The phone is going to be powered by the latest Kirin 990 system on chip which is 5G compatible and will likely see a choice of 8 or 10 gigs of RAM coupled with the usual storage options of 128, 256 or 512 gigabytes. It's no doubt going to be using UFS3 and support for expandable storage via the nano card. One of the most interesting leaks for the Huawei P40 Pro is the news of a graphene battery being used in the device. Not only does the report state the graphene battery is going to be used in the Huawei P40 Pro but it also advises the battery capacity is going to be a huge 5500 mAh battery with support for 50 watt rapid charging. This will be able to charge the Huawei P40 Pro from empty to 100% in just 45 minutes. Graphene batteries bring many improvements over lithium and while we hear this news quite often we can only hope it's true this time round. The Huawei P40 Pro is going to be powered by Android 10 based on Huawei's EMUI firmware. While there were initially rumors of the phone coming with a dual boot OS, this will not be the case. The Huawei P40 Pro will come with Android 10 only and the CEO confirmed it's going to be running Huawei's mobile services which will apparently be ready by the time the P40 Pro is released. Huawei's mobile services are basically an app suite similar to the Google Play apps but of course Huawei's own. While many people require Gmail, if Huawei make an app that can access Gmail through their client then I can't see this being an issue. We're unsure of what their app store will be but there are also many alternative app stores on the market. There are however alternative ways to install Google services on a Huawei device. There were hopes of the Huawei P40 Pro coming bundled with Google services but this seems unlikely given the rising tensions between Huawei and USA. Many US companies have continued to sell to Huawei after the blacklisting due to a rule that limits government's ability to restrict exports. This is because certain products are exempt and if a company can prove that 75% of the work to create the item happened overseas then the rule does not apply. A report came in this morning that states the administration is actually considering raising this threshold to 90% and increasing the list of products that are included. Apparently these changes could come in as soon as January 2020. This is bad news for Huawei and of course the P40 Pro. The government in Beijing has already threatened to retaliate against companies that stop supporting Huawei so things could continue to get much worse. Not only is it bad news for Huawei but it's also bad news for the US companies that have their exports restricted and it only really harms the growth in the communication industry but it doesn't mean that they still can't arrange a new trade deal. 
Given these growing tensions, it could put consumers off purchasing the new Huawei P40 and the Huawei P40 Pro considering things are becoming more and more difficult for the company. So far they've persevered and continued to produce their incredible devices, but at some point this may become too difficult. Of course, if any more news arises, I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who out there is waiting for the Huawei P40, and are you waiting for the standard P40 or the P40 Pro, and what do you think about the current Huawei and USA situation? But thanks for watching the video, if you liked it smash the thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.